How's everybody doing? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head up that way. If that's, is that good by you? I'm just going to... Can we do... No? Well, forget it. Good night, everybody. I know. It was the darndest thing. All right. I'm, I'm going... Thank you. All right. Thomas Jefferson, if you would take my penguin. <laughs> Ask before you touch. You may take my penguin. Do you take to the backstage area, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you get the respect because you got the respect pants on now. <laughs> <laughs> new, new guys are like, what the hell? Let me, let me, let me zero in for you a little bit. This will save you all a lot of time. So, let me zero it in, like I said. I'm a clown. If, what I, if you happen to be working on being a clown, listen up. Some things I'm going to say are going to be really useful to you. If you have some other creative endeavor, then replace the word clown with the, the, the sort of word that has to do with what you're doing and the clowning with whatever ING version of it is what you're doing, and this might actually be useful to you. You know, Jiggling isn't a word. <laughs> that was better than my joke, so we're going to go with jiggling. So that's good. Yeah. Thank you for the help. Appreciate it. How's it going? Cool. So, and if you're definitely afraid of clowns, the next few minutes is probably going to suck. I, it's probably like two. Statistically, there's two. There's one in every room. He's the least terrifying clown I know. That's like, that's, that's the best thing you could hope for. The least terrifying clown you know. Thank you. I'll take a step back and make you feel safer. There you go. Okay. So, the other job I hold is I'm sort of the circus's admin. Believe it or not, when you call the circus freaks, you get me. <laughs> Sorry about that, incidentally. <laughs> so you, you call, you get me. We get lucky sometimes, and our friends get to eat, which is awesome. But I always get the same conversation over and over. It goes something like this, and to those clients who haven't yet booked us this year, I'm not talking about you. That, that seems safe. Oh, yes, I want a big spectacle of vintage circus, ballyhoo, and wow, but... There's always a but, isn't there? I don't want any of those freaky clowns. <laughs> now, I'm going to aside here. I'm going to aside and say this isn't about me personally. This is about an idea, though I do take it personally. <laughs> Hurts a little, but the important thing, circus team, go. So I have to explain. Well, it's been said by people smarter than me that the clown is the heart of the circus. And the reason why was explained to me aptly by a small child who said that clowns are more people-y than people. We're the everyman. And if you go back to that early vintage kind of circus, you had a dust bowl. I mean, literally, there was nothing going on. We put up a big tent and nothing was going on. So a big loud spectacle in your face makes a lot of sense because you were bored out of your mind. <laughs> makes perfect sense. You flash forward a couple hundred years and things have changed. Everybody's got a little thing in their pocket right now that if they were to turn it on... Thank you. I wouldn't call it. I thought you were going to miss that one. You're good. It was the low-hanging fruit. Thank you. That's good. How are you? We We did. But here's what happens. You turn it on and suddenly there is this veritable torrent of information your friends sent at you. All of these great freaking ideas that they haven't even read, but they reposted because they want you to plus one or like on them or retweet them or do whatever it is they do because heaven forbid you don't do that because they might unfriend you or unfollow you, and that's just unpleasant. It's exhausting and impossible. You can't keep up, and you don't. Back when, loud made perfect sense. We were in a room full of nothing, so loud made... Be loud! Now... I don't want to be loud, I want to be heard, and I think that's what everybody wants. Don't you? Don't I? That's what I want. And we've changed. Who we are as, as, as people have changed. We just want to connect. And I'm really grateful for places like this where I can pause. And something will happen. <laughs> but I can, wa I can I, if, if there's a dead moment in this room, someone's going to liven it up because that's the kind of people we are. But if we hit the stage, if we come walking up here, sorry, Alicia, and I come walking up here, the clock is not ticking that every moment I have to be 
absolutely awesome. A pressure that exists everywhere in the world. But here, I can do what Buster Keaton did. I can, I can take five seconds to actually get around to a reaction. I just look at you and you feel really bad. I didn't mean that. But it's effective and it illustrates an example. I think it's funny. I think tossing me under a bus is a great idea most of the time. <laughs> Unless I'm trying to make a point, in which case, well, I wasn't going to manage it anyway. Modern clowns. Same idea. You got it exactly. Bottom line is this. The modern clown, the thing I have to explain to everyone, we're not in your face because the whole stage changed. We're in a smaller room and we're going to connect with you. That's my goal. My goal is to connect and have a moment. As a performer, that's all I want. A moment with you and a moment to be heard. Whatever it is I'm doing. Right now, not much, but in general, a lot. And I think rooms like this are incredible that I get to have that moment and other performers get to have it too. And I am so grateful that we have a place like this. And I thank you for being a part of that. And welcome to the open stage. Woo!